My name is Mary Arnold and I live in Vancouver, Washington. I've been an artist my whole life. I can't remember a time when I didn't have a pencil or a crayon or a paintbrush in my hand. I enjoyed making, cutting, pasting, using scissors. My mother was a talented and gifted painter and my sister is also an artist. She makes collages. The creative DNA runs deep in my maternal side of my family. My grandmother, my mother's mother, hooked rugs from her own designs, and my great-grandmother, my mother's grandmother, made quilts. And I'm sure that other members of my family on the female side, and maybe even on the paternal side, made art in whatever way was comfortable for them. I started quilting about 30 years ago, and I started, like most people do, making traditional quilts. And after doing that for 10 years, I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore, and I decided to make pictorial quilts or representational quilts. I'm a retired school teacher, and I made bulletin boards my whole life in, in my working career. And I decided I could make fabric bulletin boards. And they came out of my imagination as my bulletin boards did. After a while, I started looking at photographs in magazines and in books and in catalogs and in calendars, especially calendars. And I started taking inspiration from them. I would not copy them, but I would take inspiration. And then I started looking at my photographs that I had been taking for a long time. And I thought I'm going to use my own photographs for my inspiration. And at some point I decided, well, if I can use them for inspiration, maybe I can actually recreate them. I didn't want to be photorealistic. I wanted to be painterly. So I wanted my quilts to look like paintings, not photographs. But I did want them to be real. And I did that for about 20 years. And one of those quilts was in Quilt National 2015. And it was a portrait of my grandmother, the one who hooked rugs, and was called Grandma Maud. About two years ago, things in my private life changed, and it affected everything in my life, including my art. And I felt like I needed to do something different. I needed to grow and change and develop, and I decided that my art needed to reflect that as well. I wanted to still make representational quilts, but I didn't want them to be realistic. I wanted them to be more abstract. And out of that need was born my new series. And the first quilt in that new series was called A Road Less Traveled. And it is the quilt that was chosen for Quilt National 21. Now the method that I use to make my quilts, even before I made this slight detour, this change of path, a road not taken before, was to use Photoshop, and I still do that. But what I do now is I change the colors of my photograph, and I change the shape of my photograph. And I alter it in a way that makes it less real and more abstract. And I work on it for quite a while, trying to make sure that it looks the way I want it to look. And then I print it out on eight and a half by 11 freezer paper and put it together into a cartoon that is life size. That goes up on my design wall along with the background fabric that I'm going to use. And then I start pulling fabric out of my stash and I use only hand dyes that I dye myself and solid fabrics and batiks. I don't use pattern fabrics. And then I cut out the pattern pieces and glue and iron them onto 
the fabric and cut them out and attach them with a glue stick that is water soluble and acid free to my background and I keep building on that until I have cut out all the little pieces and assembled my image. I take daily pictures to mark my progress or lack of progress as what happens some days. And in the morning I check what I did yesterday and sometimes I redo things that don't please me the next day. When I got finished with Road Less Traveled and was ready to quilt it, I did what I normally do when I'm quilting. I densely quilted it and I matched the thread color to the background colors. I like my thread to make pattern and texture. I don't like it to be the star. I made a second piece called Journey to the Past and I'm ready to embark on a third piece that will be for a new exhibit that I've been juried into. This whole process of learning to do slightly different technique has been so pleasing. And it's been a lesson in problem solving and figuring out, well, how do I get from here to there? And then assessing the progress every day and deciding, well, is that working or do I need to fix that? This new direction in my art is thrilling and invigorating and I am happy to go into my studio every day and, and work on my, my art.